And that's what it looks like. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a really cool candle holder out of this 12 gauge hull. Stay tuned. A few years ago, I saw a candle holder that was used by soldiers in the American Civil War back in the 1860s. It possibly dates to a lot earlier than that, but I was really impressed with it. I wanted to buy it, but it was a little bit more than I wanted to pay for it being a genuine antique. But it's been rattling around in the back of my brain for a while, and I finally came up with a way to make one that is very similar and has a similar function using an old 12 gauge hull. The first thing we want to do is we want to cut this hull down and make it a little shorter. To do that, we're going to use our Fisker snips, and we're just going to leave about maybe a half inch or so of the plastic. Of course the color doesn't matter but the red makes it easier to find and fire is sort of a reddish orange anyway. After you get that cut off go ahead and use some sandpaper or a pocket knife and a sharp blade and trim that off. And there we have it leveled and cleaned off pretty well. Next Look at the bottom and you find the primer. Of course it has the dent in it where this has already been used and the pin put the dent in the primer there. We're going to use a nail and we're going to find the very center right in here. And then we're going to take a hammer and we're going to tap that primer out. It's going to take a little bit of doing and you can brace this on something if you wish that will spread across this so you can use a vise or wood that's got a bit of a crack in it but you just need to tap that out just like I showed you. All right there you can see the primer came out and I was able to do it in the stump here it's got a little bit of a divot but that's what it's going to look like when you tap the primer out with the nail. Next you need to get a wooden golf tee and you'll notice that these, the way they're made, there's a little bit of a, of a divot right here already. So that centers it pretty well, but you're going to have to clean this little bit of wood out that's right in the center. And that's very easy to do. Just kind of scrape it a little bit and clean that out. Next, doing our best to keep it in that center position. We want to drill that out using our cordless drill and just a very small drill bit, whatever size uh, you want to use is fine, but it needs to be fairly small and we're going to start drilling right there in the very center Trying to keep it straight All right, there we go nice hole right in the very center Next we have a very small screw It's Phillips head and our screwdriver we'll go ahead and put that on the end like this and then from the inside we want to put it through that hole just like this and then we take the golf tee and we screw it on and you want to crank down pretty hard on it and get that nice and tight okay if you've done this right it's going to be fairly centered and it's going to give us a nice little post I like using these these are taper candles from Walmart it's a four pack they're pretty cheap and what I like about them is I can figure out about the right size that I need for my candle. Now they will fit in down here, but that is way too long. So what you can do is, is you can actually break this candle in half. So you can figure out about where that taper starts. And then you simply take your fingers and you break it like this. Take your blade and cut down like that so that you free the wick up. You might want to trim that a little bit more. But what we end up with is this end will fit in, the longer end, and then also this end will fit down in there as well. So here it is, all put together, and then all we do is find a crack in a stump or a log, put it in like this, now you can also use it in the ground. Remember that Civil War soldiers, their tents, uh, didn't have floors in them. So they would just put this in the dirt beside them and uh, write their letters home or read their correspondence, whatever it would be. And there you have it. Super lightweight, very easy to make, 
really cheap. And that's what it looks like. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below, just under the more button. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take survival and bushcraft classes here at our beautiful training facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.